Hello, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can't wait until I can get a speaker that works because it's not working. Hi, everybody. Happy Saturday, Dollar Tree Hall. Can you hear me now? Good morning, all my muffins. Hi, my little pina coladas. Happy Saturday, Dollar Tree Hall. I am sick as a dog, so if my voice sounds way, way off and nasally and all those terrible things, I am sick. I have a cold or it's just really bad allergies that have progressively caught and worse. My whole sinuses are a hot mess today, um, but I hope that you all are feeling happy, healthy, safe, loved, wonderful, blessed, and have had a great, um, have had a great couple of days. I am going to jump right into this. As you can see, I am sitting in the Burger King parking lot because this morning, for some reason, I crave a small French vanilla iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. Sometimes I just do crave the taste of their specific coffee, and I usually just grab a little small one. It's six o'clock in the morning, and I am heading to work. So I thought I would do this haul for you before I even get in to start working a couple of miles away so let's just hit it i have some things i want to share with you look at what i found in the patriotic section i found these little weighted folders here these are usually um set out like as a centerpiece or something like that with balloons tied around it and it has a really good weight to the bottom so that um the balloons don't lift off with it and it has all of these beautiful patriotic flair all through it with the stars and the stripes being the little being the little fluff that's poking up and i just thought that they were so pretty so that if we have a cookout of some sort at the house we will put these out and i will tie some really cute balloons to them to fly high and away there's three different ones so this is the second one right here and it looks like a little firework coming out of the top that beautiful beautiful royal blue i absolutely love it but then all of these stars down here can fan out once you want to position the stars in like a burst type of effect in the same exact weighted bottom to it so that is this one which i think that these are so well done and then last but not least, the red firework effect coming out of the top. Again, all the stars at the bottom that you can move around and situate to your liking and the weight. So I got three and as we know, if you watch my videos, I mostly always get things in threes if I like them. Three is six or sixes mostly because I don't know, it just for some reason really that is something that, that's a number that I gravitate toward that seems very cohesive and in a line with one another when you're positioning things decoratively. So that's the number of things that I get. I did want to show you that I showed you a couple weeks ago that I did haul the lavender wee wee pads for my puppy. Um, but now all of a sudden they have baby powder baby powder scented wee wee pads this is a four pack so these are quite comparable i usually get five packs a week and um that's pretty comparable price wise if i was to go to like walmart or even targeters or a dog pet store not a dog pet store but a pet store and got like a big pack of 30 for 30 for like 10 dollars or something like that so I grabbed five of those and I'm excited to see the baby powder scent. I was running out of the TP at the house and I was like, uh oh, do I really want to go into a big grocery store right now? Or like even all these right now when it's not my grocery shopping day specifically, I really didn't want to. So on days like that when I'm just really not feeling going into any type of bigger store I do pick up the four rolls here of the strong and soft I very much prefer these over the Scotts brand they usually have 
the Scots brand as like an alternative and I know Scots is a big name but I really don't like Scots toilet paper um so I grabbed the four pack of this instead and this is the one I always grab and it tends to last a little bit longer I apologize my nose is a running guys we're just gonna have to hang out with me naturally today <laughs> I am a disaster I feel like absolute cookadoodle do and I am exhausted my sinuses have been giving me the worst headache and just making me not feel good literally at all I feel like a total total disaster um so love me and all of my all of my problems okay because I got a lot of them this week now I found these new votive holders and let me tell you I'm excited by them like honestly and truly and I hope that you're going to be able to see oh my goodness gracious look at how beautiful that is it's a very translucent effect um but it is like oh my goodness all the colors you move it around and it's like that iridescent but it's also you can see through it i love this votive holder then i went a little bit over and i found this one right here and this is a like a hole in it i'm just gonna put a little candle votive tea light what have you inside of this so i grabbed these two right here and i just think that they're absolutely marvelously done and so so stunningly beautiful i am so stoked for those votives i don't really get excited like that over the candle section to be honest with you i i i noticed the last couple of times because i was really trying to pay attention that i love the dollar tree but there's just some certain things that i will not pick up from the dollar tree and for a long time i did haul candles from the dollar tree brand but i noticed after burning them for like a couple of years that it was getting worse and worse and worse where the candle was not burning all the way down and there was so much candle left but it would stop igniting because it would hollow out in the middle and and it wouldn't it wouldn't burn the rest of the candle and it was just too much work for a dollar to try to like get the content to to like reburn and stuff if i like position the wick in a different way to try to get all the candle melted down so i stopped picking up the candles so now i just generally don't even look honestly in that direction but those votive votives definitely caught my eye and then um hello sister will you look at this right here this is a whole four pack right here of these beautiful just plain glass little votive holders if i got um a votive a little candle of red orange yellow and green i could make a whole little rainbow little situated candle set up on my counter for the summertime i absolutely love these i think that they're so beautiful i'm going i'm gonna buy several packages of these and i'm going to gift them to a friend of mine that has a birthday coming up with some really pretty candles to put in them and make them like a whole candle basket i am so excited that they have those i think that those are so sleek and pretty and nice and now because i was over in the candle section i did see this candle right here and for some reason i am like so into strawberry everything at the moment this summer it seems to be like my strawberry craving summer for all things for food items that have strawberry in it for hair products um self-care products that have strawberry in it for candles that smell like strawberry everything so i saw this strawberries and cream from this brand right here which is starlight and i am excited for it i picked it up i found the votives and then i saw this so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna give it a sniff i'm gonna sniff it and then we're gonna see what i want to do with it so this is not a, like the regular uh dollar tree brand type of candle 
They did have them in several other scents that sounded just as interesting. I Who knows, if this one burns okay, I might go back and get the other ones in this line because there was several of them. But I am excited and this smells fantastic, even just holy Toledo strawberries. Um, and I cannot wait to give that a shot. Uh, when I get home today, I'm, I'm about to burn that candle, girl. I'm about to burn that candle. Then I found, oh dear heavens, I didn't get to put my nails on this weekend. I, we're working. We're just working, working, working. And, you know, it is what it is. So, I, but I'm still picking up nails because I still got to keep adding to my stash. And how can you leave nails that look like this behind? This is from that egg brand that keeps showing up at the Dollar Tree all of a sudden. And I love them for it. Keep showing up, Edge. I like you. And this is a 24 pack. And the nail combination of the colors in there screams to me mermaid and summertime. Like that's, that is such a beautiful package of nails. So I got that to add to my nail collection. I also found a couple of these books and I know you guys aren't either too big on books um, because I did a just a book haul a couple of weeks ago and I don't I don't think it, it was like everybody's cup of tea um, and I also did a food haul on Wednesday's Dollar Tree haul which I was super excited about because you can really find some decent finds in the food grocery department of Dollar Tree if you have one near you and I don't think many people cared about the food, um, which is totally fine. I'm excited by it to show you the options and stuff, but I decided that I'm just going to throw these books in there, even though I had put them to the side and just show you really quick. I will start, however, with a quick puzzle. I did find this little princess puzzle right here with the cute, cute, cute little piggy dressed up as a like no that's not a pig that's a whole uh baby unicorn pig what is going on this sinus thing is going up into my brain <laughs> i'm losing it um the princess and the little unicorn i think it's so cute so richie can make this up for me and put it in a frame and that would make me super happy that's a, only a 48 piece so it would be rather quick i found these um, little golden books right here. I had every little golden book you could imagine growing up. I had a humongous book um, collection and I found the Rugrats, which were my son's, one of my son's absolute favorite, 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 favorite book um, cartoons or what have you. So I found the little Rugrats all grown up. And these books usually go for about $5.99 to $6.99, even in Walmart. So I grabbed the little Rugrats book um, just to add to like my little collection of books. And then I found a SpongeBob one right here from the little golden book options. And we love SpongeBob. That was one of my son's favorite characters. So for nostalgic reasons, I grabbed it and I'm going to add it to my little grandchild bin that, you know, if I potentially have one someday, they have quite a bit of stuff that I am going to be able to give to them right out the gate. So there's that. Then I found this Barbie book and this girl right here had to have this Barbie book. How beautiful is this book? This is Magic Friends and it's level two reading. So I think that that is really awesome. And the book is just so visually such a beautiful, beautiful, pretty book. And then this one is so cute. I think it is absolutely adorable and it's Peeps at School. So it's the Marshmallow Peeps. They made a book about them and that is the dearest thing. And this is a step one um, reading here so i think that these are really really great finds i love the book section i know it's hit or miss with you guys but i absolutely love 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 the book section and then i found this book right here the four tendencies the in, um indispensable personality profiles that reveal how to make your life better and other people's lives better too so and it says the happiness project and i for absolutely four years read and reread and read and reread 
a book called The Happiness Project. I'll have to show it to you. I got to get it out. I had binders that I took notes on, all my highlighters. I read the book six times. And every single time that I read it, I applied new things into my life. And that is honestly what helped me transition. Um, helped me in my process of transitioning from my ex-husband, my life completely changing and being uprooted with my child, being a single mother for a couple of years before I met Richie, um, and we became a family, and all the heartache and loss that I went through. The Happiness Project was just something that helped me through the whole thing, along with many other things in, in support as well from the people that I love. But I had to get this book because this I cannot wait to read. And this book went for, I don't like when they cover it up with those stickers, I tell you. They always are doing this to me, guys. They're always doing this to me. So this book went for $24. $24. And I just picked it up for a dollar. Then I found this most beautiful blue little um little bin here and i thought how cute is this to put my books in it um and just line up like my books that i want to get to reading i'm really trying to like get myself into a routine where i'm reading consistently i'm starting to like get in a couple of chapters a week and i have so many books that i want that i want to um get to but it's so hard. I'm so busy. And a lot of times when I come home from work, I am seriously not feeling well. And um, it's very taxing on my body, my job. So, you know, I, I do what I can. But I want to organize some books in here so that they can entice me to get to them. And I think this bin is really cool because it has these little knobs at the end that kind of get it to stand, like stand up a little bit more. I wish I could take this steering wheel off um, of the car and get rid of it so that it's not in my way. I, I have to tell you, too, I, I'm kind of liking doing car hauls. It's a little bit, I'm not saying I'm always going to do it, but um, just until, like, the audio situation is definitely cleared up, I am going to just be doing it in the car but I like doing it in the car because then I can take this stuff right out and bring it into the house and put it away and it's been a little bit easier doing that I do want to show you I found a different color pail if you missed that haul maybe like four hauls ago three hauls ago um I did haul every color pail three other ones other than this one I wanted a fourth one in a different color so I found this purple one right here and it comes with all of these little shovel options on the side which is really really great for a dollar but I bought these because I am going to do a pink lemonade inside of this again I had explained it in that video I'm not like an alcohol type of drinker um maybe once a year a wine cooler if I even finish it um but I plan on for my birthday in July doing like a pink lemonade a ton of ice in here some sliced strawberries some sliced lemon um some cute straws what have you blueberries who knows what I'll throw into this thing and then you put the little shovel inside you put a cute straw and drink right out of this thing on my birthday with some friends and so I got four of these and I think that that's going to be really fun and really refreshing and cool for, for like my summertime birthday night. So I'm excited for that. Now, let's talk about my birthday one more time, y'all. Look at this chalkboard easel sign. And this is not a Dollar Tree product. No, it is not. And I love it. And it has all of the greenery on it and the little gold foil like leaf embellishments all through it and it's a chalkboard sign and this is going to be perfect for a sign in or something that i want to write with chalk and set out at my dollar tree themed birthday uh for my 40th 
so that is what i'm doing for my birthday just in case some of you might may be new and don't know i am going to be 40 on july 6th and i'm doing a dollar tree themed birthday party with all greens and i think it's just going to be so much fun so that's what i'm doing and that sign is going to go perfect and again this is definitely not a dollar tree product this was kind of just like set on an end cap um and a little stack of these and there was nothing around it that matched it or looked like it went with it so that definitely came from somewhere else to the dollar tree and i got to pick it up for a dollar thank you look at this tablecloth this is a rectangle tablecloth that i found in the party section and it has the ombre rainbow effect i mean it is me all day me all day i absolutely love it love it love it so just like summer night when i'm having like a tie-dye event i cannot wait to get to tie-dye last summer i literally tie-dyed like the entire summer and i sold a lot of my tie-dye like i did i made tote bags and t-shirts and i did bleach dye on t-shirts and I made all kinds of, I tie-dyed socks, I tie-dyed everything that was hood, sweatshirts, hoodies, what have you, um, and it was so much fun. I have not tie-dyed not once, and it's been relatively nice out for like a month, month or two now, where the weather has been warm, it's been beautiful days, but I cannot get outside. I'm like working my buns off, and I cannot get outside and get my tie-dye on, but if I do have like a tie-dye type of night, a little gathering at my house with some friends and, and a little party theme and use that tablecloth as like a food table while we tie-dye on some other tables and make it a whole thing, that tablecloth is going to be really, really cute for that. I love tie-dye. But you know what I love more? This donkey. Look at this donkey. This is the cutest donkey. I could not leave this beautiful, beautiful little canvas at the Dollar Tree at all. I just couldn't do it. No donkey left behind. I love this little jackass. He is so cute. He is so cute. I think he's just he, she, whatever it is, just absolutely beautiful. Look at the eyes. I love animals and I have so, so, so many pictures of animals. I think maybe in the fall, I might change some themes to my rooms around and put up some of my animal options for like pictures and, and things like that. And the donkey's definitely going up because I love that donkey. Now, in the baby section, these caught my eye. And as I already said, there's I don't have any new babies coming or anything like that in my life. I have like little short babies that are like toddlers at this point and all the way up into their teens. But I do have a grandchild then, like I've mentioned for the longest time that I just keep adding things to so that someday if my son changes his mind and he does want kids of his own, they are already all set from Nana. And I found these in the baby section this is called Bristow Baby. I've never heard of it, but I found these little onesies here that have the snap bottom. And I absolutely loved this one because we're from the Bean, where we are about a half an hour from the center of Boston. And we're Celtics over here. And if I wanted to put the lettering across this, that said Celtics, this would be a baby Celtics jersey. So I picked this up so that I would have it for that purpose and I'm excited about it. So, and that, they came in all different sizes. There, There's like a six month size, a 12 month size, 18 month size in these onesies. Then I got this one right here with the purple and the gray little baseball type of look again it has a snap bottom to it and this one reminds me of like a mermaid so if i found like a really cute mermaid embellishment that's like an iron on or something like that which is really easy to find now that we're in the summertime i could iron on a little mermaid embellishment right in the front of this and it could be like a little mermaid onesie 
<coughs> I am so sorry. I'm a mess. <coughs> I am a, I'm a straight mess and people are starting to look at me. So just take a deep breath because um, now we have an audience. The cards just pulled up. It's okay. We're going to be fine over here. Um, so here, right here, you know, we're Disney people. This one reminds me of Minnie Mouse. So I would make a whole little Minnie Mouse gift set for my granddaughter if I had one, you know, and I would make this a whole Disney themed basket and put this onesie inside of it for the possibility of having a granddaughter someday. So I picked that one up. I keep all these things in mind. My, my husband's always like, like, how do you think of all these things all the time? plus go to work, plus get the house done, plus take care of all of us and keep up with all the things that we've got going on. Watch out for me because of my diabetes. Keep Isaiah, you know, you know, motivated through the day to like do his chores after work and keep up with all of the little idiosyncrasies that your brain just constantly is like flooded with. I don't know guys, like I have always run like this but this is why I have a ton of Dollar Tree notebooks, highlighters, and pens. Because I am constantly having to flip through them and figure out what is next in my day. I found these most magnificent from the Color Forms brand in the Teaching Tree section. This is sub, uh, Subtraction Learning Board right here. And this is it right there at the top it's showing you and all of these things pull off and peel you can change things around and it's basically teaching it's just a teaching tool and i think that that is so amazing make learning subtraction fun over <coughs> 70 repositional uh repositionable stickers sorry i think that that is so awesome then I got the letter one right here, and this is the color forms also, and this is sight word spelling learning board. And this is what it looks like, and it says over 60 <coughs> reusable stickers. What an amazing teaching tool. So I got two of each because I plan on giving one to my goddaughter and keeping some for my grandchild. Now I also have these socks right here and I have to show you these because Father's Day is coming and the socks are a hit. I make sock baskets for my husband as you know if you've been a subscriber for a long time and I also make sock baskets for um, several other people because the socks are just a lot of fun and I've gotten people into wearing funky socks because I've gifted them through the Dollar Tree and they told me um, I love my sock collection from you thank you so much so they when they come out with cute ones you know i'm gonna pick them up these have these cute little deer heads on it and they're that really pretty um like navy blue but it's also like a denim also a dark denim so there are those deer head socks but these have got to be my favorite the little coffee cups with the coffee beans they are absolutely adorable. And then these right here. And these are definitely all my husband with the fish all over him because he absolutely loves to fish. And I love that blue color against the gray. So, so pretty. So those are three new men's socks that I did find and I'm wicked excited for it. Then I found right here, life is better in flip flops. Yes, it is. And this is one of those wooden signs right here. They are so, so cute. And I think that that's just really cute. I still haven't, if you can believe it, put up my decorations for summertime. It's been like in the high 90s, thick, thick humidity. And my house is still decorated for spring, so I have to get on that. But I absolutely love, love, love this sign. And so I have to grab that and pick it up. Um, I also picked up this little banner here, and this is a letter banner, and this one is just absolutely adorable 
with the little cars through it. If somebody was having like a Hot Wheels themed birthday party or something like that, this would be a great banner to use for it. So I grabbed it. I have so many party supplies for so many occasions, for so many things that I can put together or gift to somebody that might be having a theme, you know, that is just like different and unique. I probably have some pieces that I can let you have that I've picked up through time. This I find to be so unique and so, 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 so cool. I love cars myself. I love antique cars and I'm really hoping that someday I can have one of those really nifty antique cars. Um, I'm, I hope I can have one someday and soup it up really cool and and just that would be like a dream come true. So last but not least, because this is already at 30 minutes and 38 seconds, this is 350, um, three, does this say it? Oh yeah. Sorry. I was trying to read a different language. <laughs> my honestly, honestly, and truly for real, for real, my dyslexia has been revved up lately. I don't know why. Um, I, I don't know why, but even at work, I've written things backwards a couple of different times on products and I, I keep getting my numbers mixed up. And for some reason lately, it has been really intense and I'm trying to reel it in, but I'm having a little bit of a hard time. And from time to time that will happen, but this is lasting a little bit longer than usual of me like recognizing it and correcting it. So I'm trying and, um, I've just, it's getting away from me a little bit. So I'm trying to reel it back in, but 350 stickers right here is in this little set. And I think that this is so perfect for friend mail and for all the packages that I put out to my family in mail. These stickers in here are just absolutely bright and cheerful and gorgeous and lovely and so, so cute and cool. Um, that I just needed to have them. I know I said that was the last thing, but I found these over there. So I do want to show you these last actually. Um, I did grab this rainbow ball cling right here. Um, because you know you that I had to, and it does say love with my rainbows and my hearts that I love so much. And this is double sided. So it gives you a whole nother side to it that you can use and I just think it was absolutely beautiful and brand new. So I'm excited that I gra um, got to grab that. And then this one of course says be happy, which is the other theme to my life in my days. And I love these sticker clings right here. This is just absolutely so beautiful. It does not have a double side to it. So it's just one side. The bees are beautiful and I love, love, love the calligraphy and the writing to this. So that is that. That is that. I'm not so sure I liked doing it in the Burger King parking lot. There's literally people parked all the way around me. And um, I'm sure that they're looking over here at me. Hopefully they just think that I'm FaceTiming someone. So that's it. <laughs> I hope that you guys have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed, happy, healthy, amazing, fantastic, gorgeous day. Please be kind to one another, be loving, be, you know, giving, be thoughtful, be all those wonderful things every single day. And I hope that you all are doing wonderful. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know how everybody's doing. You know, I absolutely worship talking to you guys. I love it so much. It makes every video that much better when I get to hear from you guys and talk back and forth. You guys make my day and um, I love your faces. So I hope you all are doing well and I will see you in Monday's Dollar Tree haul. I hope by Monday I feel much better. I feel absolutely terrible um, and I'm trying. So, so here we go to work. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Enjoy the weekend and I will see you Monday. Bye everyone. Love you.